Hey there Vela Girls! I'm going to be sharing with you guys my secret knafir recipe. If you guys are looking to spice up your dinner parties and create something super cute and also super cheesy and creamy, stay tuned and I will share with you guys my secret tips on how I make this recipe. And I promise you these knafir bites will be a hit at your party. To begin the cheese mix, I start off with four different types of cheeses, the sweet cheese, and the kushta, which is puck cream, and fresh mozzarella, and rocchetta, or ricotta cheese. For this serving, I use one pack of knefe, which you can find at your local Middle Eastern market, and one unsalted butter, as well as red dye. So first, you start out with mixing all of the four cheeses together. I only use half of the tub of roquetta. I'll put in the description box below the serving sizes for each one. The roquetta is going to be the half portion while everything is pretty much using the full pack. I specifically use these four types of cheeses because the roquetta and kishta offer the creamier side while the mozzarella and sweet cheese make it super stringy and cheesy. Take half a stick of butter and melt it in the microwave and then I take the knefe pack and then begin to break it apart using my hands in twisting motions. You want to keep doing this until the knefe hair cuts down to about one inch to an inch and a half. Next you throw in a couple of drops of red dye depending on how orange you want your knefe to be or if you don't want it to be orange at all you can totally skip this step and you just begin to blend all of that in. Next, you take that half a stick of butter that you just melted, pour it right into the knefe, and once again, you blend it in till all that delicious butter is coated into the knefe. Next, I'm going old school here and using my hands to make sure that the texture is right. This is important because when you begin to put the knefe, you want to make sure that it sticks together, so you put on a thin layer and then you add on the cheese while making sure that the cheese stays in the middle of the tray because when it goes into the oven and the cheese melts, you don't want it to get onto the edges of the tray and it will leave like burnt marks. So I'm eyeballing it here, but it's about one heaping tablespoon of cheese for every knefe cup. The next secret to my knefe recipe is that I add a pinch of cinnamon to each one. So now you add the second layer of knefe just to close it up. I first just lightly kind of put it into the cup. I'm not really pressing down too much because you want to make sure that it's full. And then after it's full, then you're going to just ever so lightly pack it in because if you pack it in too, like, too heavy, then the cheese is going to come onto the edge of the cupcake tray which hence will leave burnt marks onto your knafe and you just want to avoid that. The servings that I'm showing you guys here will make about three knafe trays. Next you preheat your oven to 400 degrees and you pop that delicious sucker in for about 20 minutes. Next is the qatar which is the sweet sugar coat that is put on top of the knafe. You take one cup of sugar to half a cup of water and you boil that together and also add a couple drops of lemon. That way the sugar and water stays mixed together and it doesn't dissolve and separate when you have it in the bottle later on. Now you flip your cupcake tray upside down and you're left with super cute knefe bites. Once your qatar has cooled down to room temperature, you're going to drizzle that baby on top of your knefe. This is going to make your knefe sweet while the cheese is going to have more of the savory taste. Then I sprinkled dried rosebuds and petals and this gives it a slight rosy taste. I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick tutorial on how I make my knefe bites. This has been highly requested so I really hope you guys enjoy it and you guys got lots of tips from it. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Please like and subscribe and until next time.